Welcome to EA Sports, everybody. James Sabalski here in the Emerald City. We're in Seattle, and I wonder if we'll get a salmon toss on the ice tonight for the Kraken. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Great energy in the barn tonight, and we are underway here. New York's moving it into the offensive end. What a save by Grubauer. Here's a short pass to McCann. Seattle's got the puck against the half wall. Stones him in front. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Takes the pass. Dunn's taking it from his own end. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Rips it, and he gets all of that one as it was teed up with the slapper, but he turns it aside. And the puck departs the zone. He's got a stop. He scores! There it is, his first of the season. He does a great job of exploiting the weakness of the coverage, and he finds a way to break away from the pack. He's in on the breakaway, James, and what a battle it is. It's one that he wins, and he drives the puck home. The Rangers draw first blood here in period number one. Now, it's been a bit of a scrappy play going back and forth here, James, but they get up by one, and got to wonder if it now opens the game up. Seattle's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Rangers have taken a 1-0 lead. Heedles won it in their own end. So much time in practice working on D-zone face-offs, and this is exactly why coming off an icing, you win it, and you have the opportunity to get out and get a change. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Hammers the shot. That's wide to the net. You got to get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on net. Not good enough. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. Shot. Here's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much-needed rest. Panarin's an incredible playmaker, and with his third-eye zone ability, he can make deceptive passes to set up his teammates. Dunn's a steady defender who's known to join the rush. Before I send him back upstairs, you should know how he looks to see who will power their team to victory tonight. Ten minutes cross the line and gain the zone. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. He got all of that one. Gains the zone through the middle. Goodrow's got it against the boards. Takes a shot. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. moving the play along when he distributes the puck with solid, firm passes that his teammates can handle, guys. He just loves setting them up with his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. Here's a shot! Claude save! He's on it tonight. Moves it to Tanev. Gets the puck over to Schwartz. Shot! And there's the save! Quick feed to Goodrow. Let's get physical on that play. Slides the puck to Tanev. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the goal. This can be a boarding call, no question about it. Opponents in a vulnerable spot. You see the numbers, you can't hit like that. Benino plays the 
a body into that play. Seattle's got the puck here in the open ice. Slides it across to VC. Moves the puck. Benino's going to play it against the half wall. They score! And a shorty at that! Just love this goal, James. I mean, this is a PK. Not just a PK, but a power kill. They go and attack when they recognize the opportunity. And they create this chance, and they put it away. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter. But unfortunately, this one hits him, and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. The Rangers are closing this period on a high note, now leading by two. Well, they've really taken control of this game in the first period, James. They've set the tone, and a lot of it's coming off of their shot selection. They're putting a ton of pucks to net. Puck picked up by Dunn. Moves it quickly over to Burakoski. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Quick styled in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. Turn that chance aside. Quick pass to Burakoski. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Peniers will look to win the draw to continue this power play. New York's taking possession at their own end. Lafreniere's almost out of the box. Seattle's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. And a nice save there as play continues. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. If you'd like to know more about their services, check out the website. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? New York's had a great start. You really can't ask for more than that. The coaches will be real happy. They bought into the game plan, and they found ways to get pucks to net. To the front! Here's a short pass to Wheeler. Dismiss that chance. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Lots of time left in this period. New York's got a 2-0 lead. Cans won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Moves it to Everly. Gains the zone. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Everly's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight. Trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and he lost possession. Quick feed to Sabinashad. New York's got control of it now here in the offensive end. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after all that chaos. Well, this is a much-needed reset for his team after some sustained ozone pressure by the opponent. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. 2-0 is the score. Moves it quickly over to Miller. Oh, that's a huge stop by Grubauer. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Veneers plays it against the boards. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass to Kreider. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grant Larson. Oh, save it! Oh, my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I had no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Shot, and he keeps that one out as he gets a piece of the glove. Handles the pass. Here's a short pass to Kidro. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Seattle's got it in the offensive zone. Puck dumped in. 
New York's looking to break out. The Rangers looking against the half wall. Oh, and it goes right up the post. The Rangers lead in this game doesn't get extended, and man, they would have loved that one for the extra cushion, but it goes off the post and out. Puts it in deep. Gustafson's got it in the defensive end. Goodrow's got the puck. Gives him a trip with that hit. And now he moves it quickly to Goodrow. And that slides right out to center ice. Sends a pass over. We got a whistle offside the call. Here in the late stages of this frame, New York's got some breathing room as they lead it 2 nothing. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Rangers are across the line and into the offensive end. Quick shot! And that's blocked away. Schultz plays it now. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Fires it on net, and he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Seattle's got to get the puck, James. I mean, to put it in layman's turn, one, you got to get the puck, two, you got to score. They're not doing either. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Let's it go to the slot, and that goes off a body. Here's a chance. Grubauer's got it, and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. The Rangers have certainly subscribed to the quantity theory offensively tonight. They lead it and have been busier in the offensive zone. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. A shot! Shut down by the blocker. Well, we saw the hit, James. We know how hard it was, so it's not surprising to see that he is laboring, really struggling to get back to the bench. Oh, right to the front. He was locked in there. Taken by Burakovsky. Trying to shake loose. All alone. Oh, and a penalty is coming up on the play. When you're on a breakaway, you have to be able to get the shot off, and he gets taken down from behind. The tripping call is going to lead to the penalty shot. He takes a deep breath at center ice. It's go time here. He scores! What a finish on the penalty shot. Perfectly executed. I love the way he comes in with some speed on the penalty shot and just gets the goaltender to move first and then capitalizes. Seattle's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Stopped by the goaltender. Tolman has got the puck in his own zone. Here comes the goaltender to play the puck outside the crease. New York's gained possession along the boards. Seattle's got control of it now from their own end. Puck grab by Jubilin. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Point blank stop by Grubauer. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to be the task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. Now you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find 
good scoring opportunities. The Rangers have it now. Here he is on the backhand. Oh, what a stick save. Grubauer has been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, give him a real opportunity to win. Now over to Trocek. The Rangers take it along the wall. And that goes off a player. McCann's moving the puck through his own zone. New York's gained possession. Slides the puck to Trocek. Goes right to the crease. Oh, and they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Seattle's still trailing in this one. Oh, stop it! What a save! technical about that that is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible james from the left side they enter the offensive zone into the corner now battling for it along the boards broken up by trocek taken along the wall by lindgren new york's got the puck in the defensive end gaining momentum along the wing makes a move in front Coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. Here in the late going of the frame, New York's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And they win that draw at center. New York's got possession at center. The Rangers are on the attack. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Tolman is gaining momentum. Oh, and that'll make his teammates take notice on the bench after that hit. Oh, what a chance. He came so close to putting it in. James, I thought he had that one. If he continues to get to the net with that quick release shot, he's going to convert at some point in this game. Moves it to Veneers. Seattle's got it along the wall. Makes the save. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Oh, a little cat burglar like play with the stick. Nicely done. Fires it down the ice. Scores into the empty net, and that should probably wrap this one up. Yeah, you know, the seal the deal, James. The insurance marker, and a lot of fun as well. Goal scoring is fun. Doesn't matter how it goes in, even if it is an empty net. You can see the body language on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. The Rangers have traded tonight like a shooting gallery and are in cruise control late in the third. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Cheryl, how do you describe this W tonight? Well, when you're getting a lot of shots on net, it means you're getting in the offensive zone, and sometimes any shot is a good shot when you're picking up the rebound. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight, everybody in the broadcast crew as well, and from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabolski wishing you a safe and a healthy night, and we'll see you down the road again soon.